Pilsner from Germany's capital. It's a beer o'clock for from Berlin in Germany. We have a can of their Berliner Pilsner coming in at 5% ABV. There we go. Right, a little bit about this Berliner Pilsner. Um, believe it or not, Berliner Pilsner was first created in 1902 in a, in a brewery that had a, a small um, beer garden adjacent to it, believe it or not. Um, and then in 1969, um, Berliner Pilsner was, was nationalised by the then East German um, government. Okay, and f obviously during the communist rule, was Berliner Pilsner was actually the, the leading brand in, um, in East Berlin. Now, in that time, believe it or not, they actually did export the beer to Bulgaria, USA and the United Kingdom. So that was a bit cheeky of the, uh, of the East Germans. So whether or not they were putting bugs on the cans or the bottles, I don't know, you know, because you know what the East Germans were like. Um, and after the reunu um, reunification of Germany in 1990, um, they had a bit of a, um, a project relaunch in 1992. Um, and the old style sort of Euro bottle was replaced by a more fashionable bottle. They had a bit of a redesign. Um, that's about it, really. Um, it's been acquired now in 2003 by the, the Radburger Group, who obviously they, they, they produce your Berliner Kindle, um, that sort of thing. So without further ado, let's get this open. Let's get it into a glass and let's give it a review. So yeah, a bit of an interesting beer when you think this 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 started off in Berlin and then was taken over by the East Germans. There we go. Cut that for a cracker. Lovely, clear, straw coloured, plenty of carbonation. A lovely three finger, white tight foam head. Let's get the aromas. Yeah. Malt, grassy fields. A little bit of pepperiness. What you would expect from a Pilsner. It smells dry, smells really good. So let's let's dive in and give it a try, shall we? Very, very clean, very, very crisp. And it's got that dryness at the back end that you expect with a Pilsner. The first things I always look for in a Pilsner. You can actually taste the malt base to this as well. Very malty. Sort of very biscuity. It doesn't have the sort of sharp sort of lemon pepperiness that a lot of Pilsners have. All in all, it's not bad. Um, I think I'll pick this up in a, in a wine rack or somewhere. Um, I'll pay for it. About one pound eighty a can. It wasn't wasn't extortionate or anything. I think it was in a deal as well, three for a fiver. I think I picked up three different beers for a fiver. 
and it happened to be one of them. What do I think of it? It's a, as, as you know of anything that comes out of Germany, it's a half decent pilsner. Um, you know, there's very, very, very few beers, as you know, that I've reviewed from Germany that I've disliked. Um, the Germans just seem to know how to brew good beer. And be, be, if it's a cheaper beer to an expensive beer, they're always brewed with the same sort of quality and love. The more I drink of this, the more the tastier it gets, actually. And it does help if you're having a Pilsner to have it in a proper Pilsner glass. You know, a Pilsner glass promotes this, this constant carbonation that you see coming up to keep that head on a beer. The most important thing about any beer is to have this foam head. This foam head um, stops the outside air getting to the beer. And it keeps the volatiles in. Really, really good. I like this. What a way to start your beer drinking on a Sunday, eh? Is to have a, a good, nice, clean, crisp, dry Pilsner to tickle your taste buds, ready for a few beers on a Sunday. Now, this is absolutely fantastic beer. It laces the glass really, really well. really holds that foam head as well um, what more can you want from a great Pilsner so look get down your local wine rack or it might be my city elsewhere buy yourself a can of this try it see what you think you know leave me a comment below let me know what you think of this of this beer um, obviously give us a big thumbs up if you like the review Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.